Hey guys, what's up? It's Thrill again, and this video will be slightly different. This video will be a some sort of real life video in case we haven't noticed already. This is a caramid that I used for my April Fool's video. I'm not sure if all of you guys have seen the video, but I will link it in the video description. And basically, I had this knife laying around at my house for over half a year now, and I haven't done anything with it. This weekend, I decided to paint it. Um, I wanted to paint a caramid crimson wrap since I can't afford that knife in game, so I decided to paint it in real life. The paint I use right here is, <laughs> is basically some nail polish that I stole from my girlfriend, so please don't tell her. Um, yeah, right here you can see me paint the front side of the blade. Um, you are about to see in a second that you can still see the brand of the knife manufacturer through the paint. That's why I had to add a second coat of paint for that part. And right here you can see half of the knife already painted with the first coat of paint. And you can still see some pinkish spots, that's why I also had to add the second layer. Right here some amazing camera work from my girlfriend and right here you can see me paint the rest of the front side with that nail polish. Um, to be completely honest I've never been good at painting or arts or anything in real life and um, so for my painting skills I think it turned out pretty good in the end. You're about to see the finished product in just a few minutes. And yeah that's the first coat of paint on the front side and then I simply waited for the paint to dry up. Alright, so that's the front side done. That's how it looked um, once the paint dried up. I also painted that little ring at the end of the night. I think it looked pretty good at that point already. And after that I also had to paint the back side of course. I started at the tip this time because I had some problems on the other side when I um, had to paint that curve towards the handle. Right here you can see me go towards the handle and you will see me get a bit shaky right there <laughs> because yeah that's how, just how it is. I tend to get shaky when I really have to be careful on things like that. So this is me trying to paint the curve right there and I really wanted to be careful and try to not get any paint on the black handle but you can see on the top left corner right there I did manage to get some paint on the handle but it was no problem to remove it in the end. And right here you can see me just somewhat shaking <laughs> the paint around that curve but it all turned out pretty good in the end. Also you can see that the paint is fairly thick on the blade right here but the good thing about nail polish is, is that it dries out pretty evenly. So after that I scratched the big web um, into the blade or into the nail polish so I would have no problems drawing the lines of this big web. Um, you can't really see it in this shot because the nail polish reflects the light so much. But in this shot you can see it fairly well, I'm already drawing those tiny lines of the web. Um, yeah, I had my notebook sitting next to me with a big picture of a real caramid crimson web in the game. And that's what I used for a reference to draw this caramid. So at this point I was almost done drawing this web and it went fairly good. I first of all thought that I would have some problems with this, like drawing straight lines on a surface like this, but it turned out pretty good in the end. And also you can see that I'm not that shaky anymore, I was pretty much focused on drawing these lines right there. And I was almost done with painting this side of the blade. After that I had to scratch the cutting edge of the knife because that's what a caramel crimson wrap looks like in game. So I've done that and after that it looked like this. So you can clearly see the cutting edge right there. It looks a lot better. And this is a normal caramel crimson wrap right now. But of course if I had the chance to I would always take a statue caramel crimson wrap. And that's why I decided to cut some numbers into the blade. And if you guys had to take a guess right now, what do you think what kind of numbers I would scratch in a blade like this? It's so obvious.
Alright, so this is the finished product. I think it turned out pretty good for the fact that I used some nail polish and a marker to make this. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm very happy with it. Of course, this is no professional paint job by any means. But I think it turned out pretty good. I really like it. I'm happy with it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you guys want to try something like this as well. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video.